Today I'm breaking down how JL plays B on Ancient CT side. You'll learn all the nades, positions, protocols, and more that Navi and JL use to dominate this B site. There are two players defending B. JL is the anchor and usually he's by himself with Alexei B starting towards cave. Coming out of a spawn, JL will 95% of the time throw a shelf Molotov and nade. This utility set will slow down and punish the T's who plan on rushing up lane, either take cave control or help out mid by rushing to heaven. Sometimes JL follows up with a wall bang, which does additional damage and the tagging also makes the T's movement slower. Doing this will also help Alex be the cave player take chi control or helps with allowing bit or Emma more time to go up heaven to peak lane and also makes it useful for his teammates to win their duels with the beaten up T's. This works out really well, especially if Alex B has a bad spawn. The T's are having to stop to avoid the nade damage before proceeding, which gives his teammates time to contest or they decide to tank the damage, which alongside Alexi B's nades or his teammates' mid nades will destroy and potentially even get a frag off of it. Both outcomes will give Navi the advantage. Then JL will sometimes throw a flash banana and cross along from the back. The reason for this flash is to blind any offers that's holding on top of the box. And since JL spends some time to throw the nades and wall bang. This gives the offer time to boost and hold for the cross and by throwing a flash this is intended to allow JL to safely cross along where his main focus is to watch banana. This is the best position you want to be in when you're holding B because it allows you to stay alive the longest and that is your role whenever you're anchoring sight and waiting for your teammates to come rotate in. When watching JL play B he spends 90% of his time in this position. He constantly is counter strafing because he will be a hard target to hit versus being still. As for positioning JL mainly holds his off angle back long because because T's entering up banana are so focused on either the back left long wall or the two long cubbies that when they start pre-aiming those positions, he surprises them being out in the open like this. Another good position to hold B is playing behind the second cubby and jiggle peeking in and out like this. You won't get blind and you might catch a timing if the T's contact up. They'll pre-clear it and then if you were hiding, they might think it's clear which then when you peek, their crosshair placement would have to snap onto you giving you the favorable duel. Make sure you have cave control when doing this as you are open to that position. Jay won't actively peek down banana when he knows the opponents have an op because that's not a favorable duel you'll lose that duel 9 out of 10 times when he knows that there's not an op rarely will he peek it unless his teammates set him up with a flash or if the enemy is on eco and another safe peek he does is by jump spying from behind the stair this will get him free information safely by just showing a little bit of his player model it would be a very hard shot for the t's to land what about other positions well jl will rarely play ninja because it's a one and done position t's can easily molotov wall bang and hard clear you if they full execute b the only time jl might play short is when he knows the other team doesn't have an op i watched six demos and only seen jl play short for one round against an eco it's not a good position to hold b as a rifler because t side oppers are mainly focused on that position when they are entering up banana now to get it into your brain, long is the best position to hold B because when T's entry from banana with no utility, there's too many angles they have to clear out and worry about. And with how JL plays long, he can get a really good timing onto these T's because they're either looking at a different direction and clearing out other positions and or are not expecting him to be in an off angle. Even if JL gets smoked out, it's not the end of the world to give up the B site as we talked about earlier. He can spray the smoke, wait for his teammates to retake. His main objective is to stay alive. I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey. They are one of the best and easy to use CS2 trading sites. You can instantly switch out your skins you don't want by selecting them and then pick up the new skins you do want that are so much nicer. You can also buy skins much cheaper with a 35% total deposit bonus using code NART. And don't forget the freebie section where you can get free skins. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART for all the extra bonuses. How does JL use his smoke? He might smoke banana early on after his initial nade set for lane. He will bounce it off the side pillar. This will delay any type of B tactics and then if the T's execute B, he will throw the same smoke to where he can either push through the T's long smoke as his smoke will give him cover from banana and it's going to force the T's to run through it where he will have the advantage or he goes around to short after throwing that smoke depending if the T's have made their way onto site or not. What if JL has no smoke when the B execute happens? He will spray the smoke hoping to stop the planter and the T's entering in. Just be careful of the T's timing if they decide to push through the smoke when you're reloading. If his teammate has a nade, they can break the smoke for them to peek 
because remember, JL uses his nade early on for lane. What JL isn't going to do is run through these smokes and play a hero to stop the T's. You need to know that B site Ancient is one of the easiest sites to retake as long as you have this whole long and back lane position. All you have to do is smoke out Banana and Cave and your retake success rate skyrockets because B site is so small. If the T's don't have long control, there's not many positions they could be in in the post plant. And the standard BXQ for the T's, they smoke off long and short. They aren't going to be forcing their way through too long. So if JL stays alive and waits for his teammates, there's a good chance the retake will be successful. So that's where you'll be playing majority of the time. But let's move on to some Navi setups. Alexi B and JL have a crossfire setup where Alexi B plays Ninja and JL plays long at the start of the round because T's will try to take advantage of the fact that Alexi B always starts cave. So when T's rush B, they will often smoke out cave, isolating that player and trading out the solo B player as they're by themselves. So this setup is good against early rushes and B pops. Another tactic is to play 3B and that's very common whether that be at the start or after taking mid control, pulling over one of the mid players and then a common setup is to tuck that rotator behind the stairs while Jaya will bait for them making contact first and then he gets fragged which sets up the stairs player as the enemy will see that they've taken out JL in the kill feed but won't expect another CT holding B. Meanwhile, Alex B is playing towards K. What about some aggressive plays? There's two times where you'll see JL pushing down banana and that's when Navi plan on taking lane control by setting one up heaven from mid, Alex B rushing out cheetah and JL pushing down banana or there's a variation where JL sets up Alex B to push down banana while Bit or Emma get run boosted towards heaven. This is done successfully behind the cover of the instant B door smoke which is the most important smoke for B. Dale will sometimes throw the smoke from spawn at the beginning of the round. If you want to learn the lineups, link will be down below in the description. The purpose of this smoke is to allow Navi the ability to go aggressive, whether that be pushing down banana, out cave, or up heaven to lane without having to worry about the T's being able to spot them from inside the doorway or from B main. Both do something called conditioning where they often throw the smoke and sometimes they won't even do anything with it. They make the T's guess so when Navi actually want to go aggressive with this door smoke, the T's might not expect it that Round. So it's good to throw the smoke here and there even if you don't plan on doing anything with it as it will set you up for the later rounds. The other time when JL pushes down banana is when Navi need information so they might be down a player. So JL will contact down banana hoping no one is watching when he does so. And moving forward when lane control is taken one tactic that JL uses is to jiggle peek from top banana with a Molotov out in hand when contact is made. Maltop is thrown, then he falls off and repositions, and now you know how to play B on Ancient like a pro. What map position player do you want me to analyze next? Let me know down below in the comments. Subscribe for more pro guides like this, and I'll see you in the next one.